In January of 2022, I made the big leap of moving from London, England to Saskatchewan in Canada. In this video, I'm going to give you seven reasons why you should maybe not consider moving to Saskatchewan. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So before I get into this video, the first thing I want to say is this video is not intending to put you off coming here whatsoever. In my case, I've been here for six months. I brought a house here, I have a job here, and I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. So take everything that I say in this video with a pinch of salt because clearly I love being here and I think it's a great place to live. But nowhere's perfect, right? So number one, there is just a little bit too much space, which means that traveling around can be quite hard. Now, hear me out on this one. Where I come from in Europe, I could travel for five hours and I could be in another country. However, in Saskatchewan, you can drive for five hours and depending on where you are, you could still be in Saskatchewan because the province is just so, so big. Now, to some extent, this is a strength because actually it's nice having that much space. However, if you're one of those people who like to travel around a lot, it's going to take you a lot longer than what it would do if you was in a smaller country. However, I would probably say it's like that across Canada, but because Saskatchewan has a low population, getting around can be just that little bit more challenging unless you have a car and if you have a car in Canada or at least in Saskatchewan you want to make sure it is good enough for the winter. This leads me on to number two which is the roads and the roads in Saskatchewan just suck and I'm really sorry if you're from Saskatchewan and I'm not meaning to offend you on this one but the roads aren't that great and what really made me notice that is when I was driving from Saskatchewan to Alberta and I noticed almost straight away that the roads were just suddenly a lot better and this is something that I feel like even people in Saskatchewan tell me all the time that the roads just aren't as good as the other provinces. Now for a lot of you, you may be thinking well why does this matter? And when you have winters where it gets to minus 40 degrees, you want to make sure those roads are good because the last thing you want to do is get stuck in a ditch. Um, I've done this myself, so I can't really talk here or find yourself in a position where you feel stuck or you're finding it pretty difficult to drive, which again, I've been in and it sucks. With that said though, that is something you're probably just gonna get used to over time. So everyone is telling me that actually, yes, the roads suck, but it does get easier the longer you're here. So that's something to hopefully look forward to. And in my case, just hopefully become a better driver. Number three, there just isn't as much to do compared to other provinces. Now, this is one of those things where I would probably take with a little bit of salt because in my case, I wouldn't say that there isn't anything to do here. And again, I love being in Saskatchewan. Even the bigger cities though, like Saskatoon and Regina are much smaller compared to other Canadian cities like Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver, Halifax, Montreal. These cities are all a lot bigger. And even the big cities in Saskatchewan have a fairly low population. Now, this isn't a bad thing, but in some cases there may be less to do than what there are in other cities. So one thing I would really recommend is just do your research before you come here. And if you know you're gonna be moving somewhere or you know there's somewhere you wanna live, if you get the opportunity to visit, I would highly encourage that before you move here. Number four, finding a job can be challenging depending on the field that you work in. Now, I will say it's very possible to find jobs in Saskatchewan and there are lots of opportunities here, but because of that lower population, finding jobs can be a bit more difficult and in many cases you may have more people applying for them especially in those bigger cities like Saskatoon and Regina and what I would probably say here is just do your research before you move here and ideally you want to try and at least have a job lined up. In my case I use Google and LinkedIn and I was searching extremely intensely 
to make sure that I had a job by the time I moved here. And I was looking on these websites probably every day for a couple of months just to see what was coming up. And I was very fortunate I was able to find a job in something that I actually studied for, which is fantastic. Now, as a teacher, I would often search for teaching jobs every single day before I moved here. And um, when I had a job, I was a lot more relieved. However, it took a lot of work from my part, looking at the different places, reaching out, and also applying for those jobs as well. One thing I will just add, if you are a teacher, make sure you are certified to teach in Saskatchewan before you apply for jobs. Now, in my case, I've actually got to do some extra classes because I didn't quite meet those requirements. So unfortunately, that is what it is if you're moving internationally, but it's something just to do your research on because sometimes you can have extra hurdles when you actually get here. So number five, the winters are long and extreme. Something that can be really challenging is just how long the winters last for. When I actually stepped foot into Canada in January, it was minus 38 degrees and boy that was one culture shock. I've barely seen snow before and when I have, I think the most it's lasted for is maybe two, three days and then it's gone. But in Saskatchewan, that doesn't happen because it's here for months and months and in the winter it can feel like forever but it does go and summer does come now while i'm saying how extreme those winters are in my case as long as you're prepared for it it isn't that bad but again it's really important to do your research so you know what to expect for when you arrive in saskatchewan number six is the high crime rate now saskatchewan has one of the highest crime rates compared to any other province in canada Sounds pretty scary when you first move here, however in my case to be honest I feel safer here than what I did in some parts of England and I actually live in one of the cities where it has the highest crime rate in all of Canada and what I will say to that is it's not as bad as what I thought. When I knew I was moving here that was a really big concern of mine and to be honest, I haven't actually had a moment yet where I haven't felt safe. So again, really do your research. If you're looking at the high crime rate, also have a look to say what that crime is. Now, what I mean by that is, is in this city where I'm living in, the crime rate may be high, but everything, at least from what I can see, seems to be being reported, which is why those crime rates are typically higher. Now again, that is something you should be concerned about and you should most certainly do your research about it. However, in my case, I was much more apprehensive about moving here because of the high crime rate and when I got it, I found that just wasn't that bad at all, at least in my experience. Number seven, which is my final thing of this video, is the lack of public transport. And when I say lack of public transport, Sometimes you could ask, what public transport? Now, if you're in a city like Saskatoon or Regina, yes, you have buses, which are okay, they're reliable, they work. However, in Europe, you pretty much have tubes everywhere and metros and different ways of getting around. And even in some of the biggest cities of Canada, like Edmonton, Calgary, Toronto, you've got really good transit systems, which unfortunately you just don't have in Saskatchewan. One thing I find particularly tough is, for example, where I live, say I wanted to go to Saskatoon and I wanted to get a bus. Well, there is no bus. So unless I have a car, it can be pretty tough getting around. And again, that's something just to bear in mind if you're making that move to Saskatchewan. Now, most people who move here will eventually buy a car, which is great. But there might be a point where you might not have a car, so you just need to consider how you're gonna get around. Now it's the summer, for example, I can typically walk to work or I can take my electric scooter. However, when those winters are so extreme, that's a lot harder to do. So again, just do your research, check that you can get around in the place that you are living in. So there we have it. There are seven reasons why you should maybe consider not moving to Saskatchewan. Now, again, I can't emphasize enough that 
I live here, I love it here, and I don't regret it for a second, and I can really see Saskatchewan becoming my home. So don't let these things put you off, and if it did, maybe check out this video above, which will say reasons why you should move to Saskatchewan. So if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content about Canada and Saskatchewan, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. And I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed to the channel, who has commented. It really is appreciated and it's so, so great to hear all of you where you're from and please keep putting those comments in because it's just so great to chat to you all. If you're from Saskatchewan I would love to know your thoughts on this whether you agree or disagree and if you've moved to Saskatchewan are your experiences similar or are they different because again we're all going to have different experiences and that is okay as well. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.